the, you know, I'm, I'm just amazed at the acceleration of time, how there's so much more progress in one of our minutes than one of our father's hours. It's, uh, and well, I'll give you, all right, I'll give you another example. Here's another one. I, mean, I My assumption is that this conversation is because you're doing research for a book on, the, on new leadership. Is that right? Right. Okay. So here's another. Uh, goes back to Future Perfect. Future Perfect started with an axiom. Um, I didn't write quite write it this way, but this is a a clearer uh, statement that took me uh, probably a decade. From uh, the book came out in, in I think in eighty seven until by ninety seven I was able to say it this way. It starts with an axiom: time, space, and mass are the fundamental dimensions of the universe, as far as we know. Okay, and then it shifts to a uh, syllogism. That's the major thesis, which is taken axiomatically. Time, space, and mass are the fundamentals of the universe. The, the minor proposition is your business is part of the universe. Take that axiomatically. Now, if you put those, the major and minor propositions together, somebody else is up. <laughs> Sounds like. But we have a little dog, and the dog tends to wake up and want to go outside. So I, I think that's going to be happening. <laughs> so so um, the, the, the conclusion, the third step in a syllogism, is, is statement A, statement B, and statement C is therefore, and the therefore is time, space, and mass are fund the fundamental dimensions of your business. The fundamental dimensions of your business. That's a dice. That's a very abstract notion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, translate time into speed. Translate space into connectivity. And tra translate mass in, into intangible. N into no matter. Into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are the three drivers. Speed, connectivity, and intangible value. I intangible. You started to talk about speed. My mind immediately went there. All right? Now, I'll give you a simple, uh, it's not quite an aphorism, but a fairly s simple statement for leadership in the 21st century that relates to speed. Uh, every... And any every single thing that a business person can state as a number, like revenues or or um, or, or co costs or, or anything that has a number attached to it, should be. That's the old way of doing it would be to quantify it in order to manage it. What I'm saying now is quantify it as a numerator and the denominator is always time. So that it's anything that you're naming, and it's implicit, you know, like when you quote sales, like for the for the first quarter, you're contrasting with sales of the first quarter of the year before. Well, first quarter is a three month time thing, and it's a, okay. We always manage the numerator. We don't manage the denominator. So we try to increase sales in the quarter. We don't try to reduce the amount of time it takes us yeah. to get yeah. that amount of sales. And what I'm suggesting is that a whole new approach to leadership that look, is that speed, connectivity, and intangibles become the, the, the main drivers and that speed be thought of as the denominator in any measurement in the corporation. That any measurement in any time you quantify anything in the corporation, it's quantified within the context of a unit of time. 
that should be pretty acceptable as, as obvious, but it was obvious and ignored. I'm saying make it obvious and managed. Manage the denominator as much as you manage the numerator. And always think of what you're doing at, in terms of the denominator. So that, um, I, I'll give you a good example of it. There are companies that say, as part of their kind of mind, mindset, 20% of all our sales have got to come from products that are X number of years old or less. Right. That's a good example of doing what I'm saying. There aren't too many that do it, but there are those that do do it. And those are the ones that are generating more products. So you see, it's also what I'm saying is also very closely linked to um, the business, not the organization. Am I clear? Yes, very. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think this is seminal stuff. I mean, I... It, yeah, it is. I mean, there's an upside and a downside to it being seminal. I agree with you, but you know, and the upside is it's very powerful. The downside is it's it's too abstract and hypothetical for some people's taste. Well, and I, I conceptualize what I'm trying to do now is often starting at you know the the theoretical. I love to play in that stuff anyway. Yeah. But then translate it down into okay. So here are implications for what you do. So I mean, a lot of businesses still don't recognize what opportunity cost is, for God's sakes. Uh, yeah. And if, a lot of people that I deal with, staff types, they they haven't understood the value of intangibles yet. So there's right. a, a lot of room to go. But I. Boy, if I look back to the beginning of our conversation, what do you do if things are bottom up instead of top down? Well, you teach people to have their ear to the ground, and you make that a value so that they're able to, you know, bring this stuff in rather than just close the door on it. Right. Uh, and I'm going to noodle a bit on the the speed, connectivity, and tangibles. I remember going through that. And in fact, you're in part responsible for an intellectual trip that I took for a couple of years trying to get my arms around the notion of time. Because when you had the, you know, the, the derivatives of time and speed, I thought, oh, God. So I read like 60 books on time. And, well, I convinced myself that was not a way to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, you've rekindled part of my fire around that one, Stan. Uh, well, I hope this has been useful.